Hi guys, in this video we're going to be looking at the reactions of sodium and magnesium with water, the reactions of all the period 3 elements with water, and then finally we're going to summarise. In last year's course, you will have seen some of the trends of period 3 elements. So remember that on the periodic table, periods go across, they're the rows, so we have period 1, period 2, and period 3. So the first element in period 3 is sodium, and then sodium, magnesium, and aluminium make up metals, which conduct electricity and have high boiling points. We then have a divide, and silicon is a metalloid, which has has some of the characteristics of metals, like conducting electricity to a certain extent. Silicon's good for making semiconductors. There's then another divide, and we have the non-metals, which do not conduct electricity and tend to have low boiling and melting points. Finally, we have argon, which is the noble gas within period 3, and as a noble gas, it exists in atomic form and is inert so it doesn't easily undergo reactions with anything. The rest of period 3, so not argon, will undergo redox reactions, so sodium and magnesium will react with water. We have the equation for this below, shown in the case of sodium, so we have sodium here, and if solid sodium comes into contact with water, even if it's just cold water, then we're going to form sodium hydroxide. One of the things we'll notice about this reaction is that it fizzes, we also call that effervescence, and that's because of the hydrogen gas that is produced in the reaction. This is a violent reaction and happens very quickly, even with cold water, and the sodium metal will melt due to the heat that is released in this very exothermic reaction. The sodium hydroxide that's formed, as we've seen many times over, is a strong alkali, and the pH of most solutions of sodium hydroxide is going to be 12 to 13, although obviously it's going to depend on the concentration. Magnesium reacts in a similar way, but very slowly with cold water. So we can see from the equation that we have our solid magnesium reacting with liquid water to form magnesium hydroxide. But as we said, this would happen over the time scale of about a day with cold water and magnesium, and we would only get a few bubbles. It would take multiple days for this reaction to go to completion. However, if instead of cold water, we use steam... Hey guys, to continue watching this video and unlock hundreds of other super concise, exam board specific, A-level chemistry videos, just click the snap revised smiley face here. Join me today, and together, let's make A-level chemistry a walk in the park.